Hello everyone, it's so far for two and today I have USB paint. So first and foremost, hi! It's my voice! I'm talking again! Isn't that exciting? Yeah, I I personally think it's exciting. I know that for a while I tried to do talking through my speed paints and then I stopped. And if I'm to be honest, it's mostly because I was lazy. I got lazy and just thought, uh, oh, trying to think of things to talk about. It's really hard. I don't want to keep doing that. Ugh. But honestly, the more I thought of it through the few months or I guess a year now, I don't know. Um, the more I thought of it, the more I realized, hey, dummy, the more you talk, the better you get at it. And the main thing you could talk about is either speed painting or funny stories, but I don't have a whole lot of stories, so bear with me. <laughs> There's that. Um, I also just want to add a small update about how I am. Not that it matters. Well, kind of matters. It matters to me. Just life is a little difficult right now. So, fair warning, speed paints might be a little slow and inconsistent, but I do very much want to make the effort to keep doing speed paints because I'll say it once and I'll say it again. I enjoy recording and I enjoy letting people see my process of drawing and it just gives me something to do for Sundays. <laughs> yeah, it gives me something to do for Sundays to make videos and something to look forward to, you know? So with that all said and done, uh, throw all that mushy stuff away, <laughs> let's, uh, let's get right into the drawing that I'm doing, which I'm sure some of you have noticed that it's Mifa from Breath of the Wild. Uh, I just want to say, for those who don't know, just, you never know, not everyone might know who Mifa is or what Breath of the Wild is, it's the more recent Legend of Zelda game, and Mifa is one of the four champions. She is the Zora champion and also the Zora princess, and she, to me, she is a sweetheart. She is very kind, very passionate, very caring. She always looks out for people. She does things for the sake of other people. You know, she's by the people, for the people. And she is also, or could have been a potential romance. I. I don't know how to word that, but she showed signs that she really liked Link and wanted to tell him before everything went bad. And I, when I say that, I mean Ganon showed up and messed everybody up. That's not fun. She, very sweet, very kind. I love her. I personally love her. <laughs> She's. I like her design and I love her voice. Her voice is very smooth and calm and I could listen to it for a good amount of time. And I'm drawing her, or I drew her, this is- I don't know how long ago I drew this, honestly. Whew, my bad. But I'm drawing her as a sort of serious kind of thing because I drew Rivali before this. And I thought, I want to draw all the champions like this. I kind of have them doing a fighting pose with their weapon and having the Divine Beast in the background and like a blue icon kind of thing. I don't know if you'll see it in the video, but you might see little like flashes of me referencing the Rivali picture just to make sure I get the right colors. I'm hoping to do Orbosa next or Daruk. One of the two. I'm going to do both of them, but maybe Orbosa next. Because as much as I love video games, I... I find myself not drawing a whole lot of fan art, which is, I don't know, to me it's kind of sad because I love being able to show like, oh, I really like this game, or I really like this show, or I really like this, um, just this, this thing on the internet, but I don't have a whole lot of art to show it. Not that you have to draw art to show that you like something, but I definitely like to have the creative juice flowing, and I very much have been a big fan of Zelda for a long, long time, a long time being since I was Eight. So that's a good, that's a good 12 years of my life dedicated to Zelda. You know, it's it's like it it's there, it's calm, and then a new game comes out, and I'm like, yeah, I get all pumped up. <laughs> Sorry, I was definitely excited when Breath of the Wild was coming into play. I remember seeing the first trailer of it. And I'm like, oh wow, Link looks a little different. Like everything looks really good, and just you know, waiting and waiting, but also being kind of. I guess I want to say kind of salty because I didn't know if I was going to be able to get a Switch for it when I found out it was going to be on the Switch or Wii U and it's my head thinking, oh, I'm not going to be able to get either of those systems so I'm not going to be able to play. I have to avoid the internet. I can't- no spoilers please! Which 
I did a good job. I did a very good job avoiding a lot of spoilers for the game. So I got to enjoy the game, like, actually for the first time. Because, you know, I'm not trying to blame the internet for spoiling things for me, but sometimes it can't be helped. Sometimes it just pops up and you're like, oh, okay. But I did a pretty good job. I got to find every little thing on my own and just experience the story. And I really, really love it. It's a phenomenal game. The music is amazing. I listen to the soundtrack a lot when I'm drawing. It's very motivating. And the mechanics are smooth, the storyline is interesting, though it's a little um, nod at Orkney of Time. Kind of, because instead of like, oh, you've been, you skipped 10 years, it's, you've been sleeping for 100 years, it's like, wow, that's a big jump of time, wow, I'm old, whew. But yes, either way, it's a phenomenal game, and I suggest it to anyone who gets a Switch, or who has a Switch and hasn't played it yet, I recommend it, especially if you like... I guess I call it RPG, but if you like puzzles and medieval settings and magic and sword combat, not even sword combat, you can actually have different weapons this time, which was one of my favorite things for Wind Waker, which I played the HD version, very good, very nice, if I was to mention another Zelda game. Getting back to Mifa though, I said she's a really good character, she's very sweet, very kind, I personally love her. I know there's people, there's a few people who are a little iffy or just, I don't really like her. And I, I don't blame you. I'm not going to judge you for it. I just want to say that I personally enjoy Mifa as a character. And I enjoy all the champions. They're all very enjoyable in their own unique ways. Even Rivali, even though uh, at first I didn't like him. I did not like Rivali one bit. When I first met him, I was just thinking, ah, oh, he's such a jerk. How does anyone put up with him? And then... Here's me now, crying about him, just thinking, I can't believe he's God! No! He deserves better! All of them deserve better. But if there's one person I cry a lot about, it's Rivali. Surprise, surprise. Ah. Uh, I won't get into much about that. This is about Mifa. This is about Mifa today. I... I'm trying to think of when I first met her, when I actually saw her in the game. I'm trying to think of that. She... I saw the statue. I remember seeing the statue and just thinking, Wow, that's a really tall statue! And... Sidon talking about his sister and getting the memory and just I, I definitely felt sad I didn't cry a lot of people were telling me when I got the game oh uh, when you get to Zora domain you're gonna cry and I was thinking why what's gonna happen and obviously they didn't get any further than that but just people kept telling me you're gonna cry you're gonna cry and I didn't maybe it's because everyone kept getting me psyched up like it building up this tension of this being super super emotional I'm not saying that Zelda is not emotional but I didn't cry, but I definitely felt very sad because Mifa was someone who wanted to tell someone her feelings but felt like she couldn't because of another person this person was seeing. Why do I make this mysterious? It's Link. She clearly, um, if you get the DLC, she has a diary and she talks a lot about Link if I like, I saw this little boy to I saw this little boy today. He seems very friendly. His name's Link. Um, my terrible impression of her, I'm so sorry. Uh, and just, you know, reading that clarified that she very much cared for Link. And she wanted to be with him, she wanted to be happy with him, and I don't blame her. You know, she has a right to be happy with whoever she decides. But it is heartbreaking to think, you know, she never actually had the chance to tell him. Even if she knew she was going to get rejected, or even if he was going to feel the same way, she wouldn't know that. It's very upsetting. I feel for you, Mifa. Just, you know, loving someone and realizing that they might not love you back, but just not getting that chance to say it? Awful. Awful. Very, very awful. That's my opinion on Mifa. She's a very good character. I love her. I enjoy her. She was a good character, and I only wish she deserved better. But, uh, yeah, that's all I really have to say for today. Sorry, it was a bit of a mess trying to recollect my thoughts here. I will do better next time, I promise. I swear, it will get better. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you all, you guys, next time. So, uh, bye!